Uh, hello, welcome. My name is Ian, the Vicar of St John's Church in Christchurch in Jarrow. And if you're watching this, you're probably expecting our short midweek service, which we've been running on Tuesdays and Thursdays during this lockdown period. Of course, many places are changing because of the lifting of restrictions and they're starting to open up and to gather. And that is true for St John's and Christchurch as well. So we've actually decided to change what we're doing midweek as part of that. And the services on a Tuesday morning will not happen in the same way. The same is true on Thursday. But let me explain what is changing for those of you who don't know and are not aware. First, let me start with why we're changing things, because we need to be based on what uh, Jesus says in the Bible. And he says in Matthew 18, verse 23, it is where two or three gather in his name, in Jesus name, my name, he says, there I am with them. That is a reminder, of course, isn't it, that church isn't uh, particularly a is it first and foremost a building churches do have buildings but it isn't the building that makes the church it is the gathering and that gathering doesn't require lots and lots of people as jesus says it only requires two or three to meet with him to meet with god so we don't meet with god by going to a particular place we meet with god who is jesus by coming together as his people and meeting each other in whatever way we can do. Of course, that has been restricted a lot recently, hasn't it? But it's starting to get easier and it's been easy for a little while actually to meet in twos and threes and now up to six outside. We can start meeting in our church building for services, but we still can't meet as freely as we are used to doing. So in this sense of wanting to meet, we've decided to slightly change what we're doing. So here's the verse again, two or three gather in Jesus' name, there I am with you. It is the meeting, it's the gathering that makes us church, not the building, but the building helps us to be a gathering, of course. Uh, what are we doing here at St John's and Christchurch? Well, on a Tuesday morning, and it's happening right now if you're watching this live, Tuesday 10.30 for 10.45 starts, we, uh, we've we often had something called Cafe Church meeting down at uh, Christchurch in Jarrow, but we can't use do that at the moment, so we're calling it Cafe Church at Home, and you can see there it's in our virtual chat room. So the idea is that we meet each other and talk to each other. And many of us have been using that chat room for quite a while. Uh, we can have some food. You'll have to bring your own food to the cafe church. Often it was provided for us and we contributed towards that. But we'll have to bring our own food this time on Tuesday mornings in the virtual chat room. And the details of that chat room are on here. If you haven't seen them before, there are the details. Perhaps you need to pause this uh, video and write them down or take a picture or screenshot or whatever you want to do so you've got the details because I'm going to move us swiftly on from that uh, Tuesday morning gathering uh, in the chat room. It looks a little bit like that. You, we can all see each other and talk to each other and we can discuss what God might be saying to us as we seek to gather in twos, threes and perhaps many more people would want to join us. might be several others. So that is Tuesday mornings, the Cafe Church at Home. On a Wednesday at 1.30, we're going to meet at Christchurch in the actual building. A very, uh, well, a very short, a short service, I should say. We can't gather very early uh, beforehand. Just five minutes, we'll open the doors beforehand. It'll be 30 people only because of social distancing requirements. We can only fit that number in. And if you'd like to come, please let me know just so I can keep a track of the numbers. I, I don't think we will get to 30, so that's good. But uh, just for a first week uh, this Wednesday. That's what's happening. Now, it is available to watch on YouTube on this channel from 11 o'clock each Thursday. So the midweek service will still be there on a Thursday at 11 o'clock, but it will be a recording of what has been going on on a Wednesday the day before in Christchurch in the afternoon. So we still have one midweek service. It will be recorded. It will go out on the Internet. And then we've got the Tuesday Cafe Church at Home as well. Again, you might want to pause this and digest what it says on the screen as you look at that. The Sunday services will continue at 10.30 to be live streamed on YouTube. The chat room will be available afterwards as well. Um, but it also will be available for people to gather. The number again is 30 in the building at St John's. And uh, again, the distancing requirements make that uh, the, the number we need to be capped at. So please let us know if you want to come along to that uh, in the initial instance, and we'll see how that goes. It might be that, uh, you know, if numbers are way down, we only need to ask people to tell us if they're coming. But uh, just as an initial start on this Tuesday, uh, this Sunday, the 12th of July, uh, 10.30 in the building. Again, similar to Christchurch, uh, that will be uh, not much gathering before or after. There'll be no singing 
uh, though we will have some songs but we can't sing to them in the building but we can sing to them at home of course and um, it'll be exactly the same experience in church as it will be on screen pretty much except you can see things in 3d rather than 2d but with the screen and the video material still be there as it has been during this lockdown period so that's sundays at 10 30. if you want to get in touch with us there's the details uh, a phone number and email address sign up perhaps to receive our emails to keep up to date with what is happening and also of course if you haven't already subscribed to our youtube channel it just helps us to know what's happening just put in st john's heaven in the search box and then click on the subscribe button there uh, i think we've got something like 78 subscribers now and uh, that would be fantastic uh, home groups of course are a way of meeting together if you're not in a home group it'd be fantastic to join one uh, you don't have to go every time but it's just good to be part of a group because that's what jesus says isn't it in the bible let me put that up again where two or three gather in his name that is where he is he's not in a building primarily he's where god's people gather whether that's in a building or on the street in people's homes remember the early church didn't have any buildings and they were very much the church jesus built a people uh, not buildings uh, buildings are great but they're not the be all and end all of what we need to be as church so that's what's happening i hope that's clear let me say a prayer now for, for you and for our town for our communities and for our church so let me pray father god we thank you that wherever we can gather in whatever way we can you are with us jesus is with us so help us to do that help us to gather help us to meet one another that is where we are encouraged and strengthened in the faith that's where we're challenged perhaps uh, where we wouldn't be challenged otherwise by a different opinion and that is good for us that you give us each other as followers of christ so help us to make the most of the opportunities we have people are going back to work and can't meet midweek in the same way but there's still sundays whether it's in the building or at home using the phone meeting up afterwards whether it's home groups whether it's that tuesday cafe church at home or using the building at Christchurch on a Wednesday or watching that service later, we pray that you would strengthen us and that you would draw us not just closer to you, but closer to each other, as that is how we do get close to you and know your will and purpose and love and uh, encouragement in these times. We pray that you'd help us all to be wise about what we engage with, how we go out, how we stay safe. Help pray that for our countries and our communities. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope that's clear. Do get in touch if it's not. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you've got any ideas, any thoughts, that'd be fantastic. God bless and take care.